Inside the Barriers, brought to you by Bet Deluxe, serious betting for serious punters. Hello and let's go inside the barriers. Thanks to Bet Deluxe, Melbourne Cup Day is done and dusted. We saw a world-class performance and the fabulous Oaks meeting is coming up, of course, on Thursday. Cuz is here. Who won the cup? Kiwi horse, Kiwi jockey <laughs> and a Kiwi trainer. So I was pretty sure a Kiwi. <laughs> Must have missed it. Uh, no, what James, a performance. James McDonald, outstanding ride. Um, I felt very privileged and you know, humbled by the experience to be there. Um, obviously, I gave him a cuddle afterwards when I went and seen him. He wouldn't let me go and he was tearing up. And I was like, come on, Carl, I'm about to tear up. So uh, it was very emotional, but congratulations to all involved. Polly? Yeah, big, big performance from, from very elegant. But uh, we can't rest on our laurels. The, the carnival just continues. Oaks Day now. Punters pick as well. 500 buck Dan Murphy's gift voucher coming your way if you can pick the trifecta of the Oaks on Thursday. And uh, what a card it's going to be as well, the third day of the, uh, the carnival. And uh, let's see if we can find some winners, Jets. Yeah, well, a bit of juice around at the moment. What, how's the track going to race, do you think, at this stage? Uh, well, yesterday they put a lot of uh, water on it, so... It was racing more like a five earlier in the day, but he timed it so well that by the time he got to Melbourne Cup, it was uh, three, probably close to, closer to four. So he did that really well. But we got showers out there today. I think we've forecast rain for the next three, four mm. days, isn't it? Mm. So um, I still think it'll play fair, but they'll want to come off the fence. There'll be a lot of wear and tear. So they'll want to get out tomorrow. OK, D. Oliver rides Oaks Day. He was suspended after the Melbourne Cup. He's what's he got a couple of meetings. Yeah, I think he got off memory was eight meetings. Yeah, I think he got, um, but I don't think Ollie's going to worry about it too much. He might grab, put the surfing board in the, in the boot <laughs> and go for a surf down at Torquay because uh, he's had an amazing carnival already, and uh, I think it can continue. Okay, he's on Willowy number yep. two uh, in the Oaks, and then he goes for his little spell. Very impressive on Derby Day. It was, yeah, winning, winning the Wakeful. Very impressive. It, it's really tied up the top of the market as well. Elusive Express, our favourite, at four bucks. Uh, Willowy at four dollars and twenty cents. Daisies as well in her first prep. She's at four dollars sixty elect. Biscayne Bay six fifty, and Glint of Hope at nine dollars and fifty cents. They round out the single figure runners. Look, the horse that has been backed has been Willowy BM. It's been around about that four sixty quote into four dollars and twenty cents. And if it keeps going the way it is, I think it'll probably start favourite. Uh, but I think Elusive Express looks like. She's, so, I mean, obviously targeted for the brace by Jackalbury, her sire, staying sire. I think getting up to the 2,500 is really going to suit her. And I think the big thing as well, there doesn't look to be too much speed in the race. So we saw in the derby, because 1,600 up to 25 was no issues for Hitotsu. I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue for Elusive Express, and she handles the wet ground too. Yeah, she does. She's had two starts on a soft for two wins and obviously placed on a heavy as well. Uh, if the rain continues, I could only envisage it'll get out to soft and maybe heavy if we have it again tomorrow. But um, she's by Jackalbury, who's ran third in a Melbourne Cup, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm right. So uh, the staying pedigree's there, and the Freedmen's train her. And uh, they haven't had a great carnival, but I think that can change tomorrow in the, in the uh, Oaks because she's my pick. I like Willowy, and I'm not afraid about the wet track. Uh, one, it's maiden, the fillies and mares maiden at Newcastle two runs ago. One by 4.25 on the soft, on the slow. Uh, love the turn of foot at the end of the race here in the wakeful. It's been a terrific lead-up race over the years. Ollie rides. He's won six wakeful since nine, um, Oaks since 1991. Yeah. Good strike rate. I think so, yeah. And I think she looks like the horse that's really on the rise as well. But, look, for me personally, the one I wanted to be with on an each-way basis, I thought just purely because the stable of going great guns at the moment um, and she's by Sebring, which is, I mean, not obviously not a staying sire, but can get through the wet yep. if there is a bit of cut in the ground. Biscayne Bay mm -hmm. gets the blinkers first time as well. Barrier three, should enjoy a nice run up on the speed as well, maybe in that 1-1 one, one position too. I think she's going to be my each-way play in the race. I've got number one on top. Elusive Express, but I think the four on an each-way basis is the one to be with. Um, and from a trifecta point of view, I'll be one, four and two. That's my punters pick. So the market yeah. has got the top three sort of all around between you would think 370 so. and five yeah. bucks or something? Yeah. Yeah. I think tactics are going to be, and yeah. as you would know, in these sort of races as well, when there are, 
I don't, when there's not a lot of speed, and, and we saw this in that race at, at Caulfield that Daisy's won a couple of weeks ago, it's all up to the jockey taking the initiative, isn't it? It is, and especially when you've got a small field of only 11 runners. Uh, it's not like it's a 15-horse field or, or an 18. where you get cluttered. Can't yeah, which well, generally ge generates a lot more speed. Mm. But um, it, they, if they do run slow, it's obviously going to advantage Biscam Bay, as you said. Um, for me, an outsider, I like Do Sir, the horse of Paddy Payne's. Mm -hmm. uh, two starts on heavy for two wins, and Paddy Payne, he can train sprinters, he can train stairs, he can also train jumpers. He can do anything, and uh, he's a very, very good trainer. Raced handy the other day too, didn't it? It just, did. Just off the speed. It did. I just think uh, he's timed the preparation right to peak on grand final day, which is tomorrow. OK, we can get some money, I think, in race five, number two, New York baby. Uh, we, we, our filly loves the ground. She won on a heavy eight when she debuted down at Warnable and won well. Uh, you saw the run in the Crockett last start. Got hampered after the start. Came from last, had the best sectionals, beaten two heads. Ground, no problem, out to 1,400. Pole position, barrier one, D Oliver, race five, number two. Should enjoy a beautiful run up on the speed as well. She's $7 at the moment beautiful. to attend the place. I think... That'll come in, obviously. I think Roots in this race is, race is going to be scratched. Ran on, um, ran on Yes, that's correct. So, ran on Cup Day as well. So, there'll be a couple of deductions. The favourite in the race is a horse called Espiona, who won very impressively on debut. But uh, I think I'll, I'll side with you, BM, in this. And, uh, each I think way. Each way. Each way all day. Punters pick Oaks Day, I think? or uh, For the Oaks? Mm, Willowy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Trifecta? Probably uh, Willowy, do you, sir, um, on, on what uh, Cuz was just talking yep. about. I, I didn't mind us run the other day in the red with a white cap. Uh, and, and the toppy, Elusive yep. Express. Yep. And you? you I'm um, one, two, six. One, two, uh, six. Obviously, uh, Elusive Express, Willoughby, and then do, sir, I, I think, um, for me, is the best outsider or horse with a bit of odds. Two, six, one. Yep. Not tipping against New York, baby? No. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I've, man. I've heard he's got a good lift on him. I, I, I'm, going right with, watch. I'm going with New York, baby. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> and again, as well, as we said, make sure you leave your, your comments for the trifecta, the putters pick for Oaks Day in the comments section on the Facebook for your chance to win that $500 Dan Murphy's gift voucher. And make sure you review the Bet Deluxe app, Google Store or the uh, App Store as well. So uh, those are to validate those entries, BM. I'm going to the Oaks. I'll see you there, Cass. Yep, uh, we'll be working again and I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, I think Dry McNeil, as I said in the Oaks, can knock off another Group 1. Beautiful. There it is. We're inside the barriers for Bet Deluxe. Serious betting for serious punters. Gamble responsibly. Inside the barriers. Brought to you by Bet Deluxe. Serious betting for serious punters.